I, I think that people are very uncomfortable setting a precedent where you're going to tr- you're going to hold someone accountable for incitement in a speech in which and you can see the transcript. Anyone listening can, can go see themselves or watch the video. He said to peacefully have your voices be heard. Now, you know, that, if you say if you if I tell somebody, hey, guys, let's have a peaceful protest downtown and, you know, people downtown actually end up firebombing a building or they do something crazy. Those people are responsible, and I should condemn it as somebody called for the protest, but I'm not responsible for the firebombing. You see what I'm saying? And so that's where I think people drew the line on Trump. I, I, think, that, I think there's an argument to be made that it may not meet the legal standard of incitement. Um, and if it doesn't meet the legal standard of incitement and you believe that, then you have, you have a duty to follow the law and to execute the law as best as possible. I, I don't disagree with that. Um, I think that with Trump, it's a little more of hiding, uh, throwing rocks and hiding his hands. I think it's it's more like, all right, guys, I want you to go down to the Capitol, make your voices heard. Don't hurt anybody. Wink, wink. You know, I, do I think he thought exactly what was going to happen was going to happen? No. But I, it's clear to me that he understands the type of people who show up to his stuff.